Hello, today we're going to do an unboxing of an, uh, a microcomputer, an IBM, or should I say a Think Center M920Q. Comes in this nice pack, pack box. Let's have a look. Couldn't find my knife, so I'll go in with a letter opener here. Let's see what we got in here. Lots of cardboard. Okay, that's a good sign for recycling. Excellent. There's clearly the main unit right here. See if it'll. Nope, I gotta get some of this other stuff out first here. So, got a little excited with that. This looks like it's gonna be the, the keyboard here. And it comes with, I guess, with a keyboard. And the main unit here. So, we have cardboard inserts and here's the main unit there look how tiny that is it's got a seal here so let's break the seal and only a little bit of this plastic i guess to keep it dry so there we go it's a very tiny tiny fun fellow here Got the sticker for the Intel Core i5. And here's what's in the back here. Very compact. Looks like DisplayPort, high speed USB 3, HDMI, another USB. And well, these blue ones will be the high speed USB 3, I suppose. Another DisplayPort here, a serial port, a nine pin serial port, Ethernet port for your network. Um, and this is the IBM Power. This is more of an industrial kind of model. You can put it on the back of a TV or on a small location somewhere. You can buy different kinds of mounts for it. But it's very compact. Here's the front. So we have a, this way. <laughs> we have USB here. And it looks like USB-C here on the front. Headphone audio out, analog, analog microphone input, power button. Power button here has a nice, nice cover. You can peel that. It's a nice and heavy feeling, very sturdy. Get the... This is the accessory box here oh this comes with quite a bit of stuff in here it's quite heavy let's see what we got here we got a standard power cord ac power with another piece of plastic here i guess to keep it from bending and shipping or whatever what else do we got here looks like uh, a vent cover you can replace it interesting There's um, screws. You finger you can you can uh, undo with your finger here. The uh, AC to DC power adapter. The cord goes in there, and then this is the connector that goes in the back of the unit here. Everything in here is covered in plastic. So we got more screws in here. Not sure what they're for. They're probably for custom mounts. Yes, it looks like we got a mount kit. Yes, that's what all the screws and accessories are for. It's an optional mount kit we got. It's wrapped in plastic for some unknown reason. It's got some sticky stuff in here. It's interesting. It's kind of that's interesting. It's kind of this loosey goosey, rubbery, the sticky. That's uh. That's a strange place to have it there. <laughs> Some packaging fail there. Not sure what's going on with that. But um, basically you can use this to bolt this onto a surface and then mount the unit into it. And it's optional. But wrapped in plastic, not awesome. Okay, so it looks like this is a uh, Wi-Fi antenna. That's probably what, uh, what this connector is for. Yes. If you look more closely, that is uh, an antenna connector, which is probably an, an option that we selected. 
Got a basic mouse with it. It's wrapped in plastic for some reason. More plastic. Just a very basic GP mouse wheel. Very basic. More screws. And another mounting bracket. So this is interesting. So, you can, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll have to figure what this one is for. The unit itself, very tiny. Here's the uh, Wi-Fi connector here. Just screws on like that. And ta-da, it's uh, got Wi-Fi. Here's a closer look at some of the USB ports and other peripherals here. Uh, the black port here, the, the USB port here is the USB 3 Gen 1, but these blue ones are Gen 2. So they they probably have uh, faster throughput. According to IBM here, they give a little um, piece of paper here describing the, the differences. So the Gen 1 is a data rate of 5 gig per second. The Gen 2, the blue ones, are supposedly theoretically 10 gig per second. So that's the difference there. The front ports are a little different here. This one here, you see here the this, this symbol here. That indicates fast charge. So it's a, it's a USB C here and a regular USB, the old school USB, but it's a USB three fast charge. So you can plug in your cell phone uh, and get and it's compatible with those that have fast charging. So to open this guy, there's one simple screw here. Just loosen this off. Standard Phillips screwdriver or a flat head would do. And then the top slides right off. So there's not a lot for the user to, to get at in here, but uh, here's um, the cooling fan clearly, so you can, you can clean that out. Um, this component here in the back is, is modular. So you can take that out and, and order different types of interfaces. We happen to order this one with the serial port. And looks like a display port there. Uh, and here is, a, you could put a um, larger two and a half inch form factor drive. Right now, we, I believe it came with the NVMe, the smaller chip type uh, storage. But you, it looks like there's, a, there's capacity for two and a half form factor. So you just squeeze that. You got this connector. So here's the, the SATA connector underneath there for a standard SATA drive. You got to watch out for that ribbon. Don't pull that out. That's not good. <laughs> so, and it just clips right back in here. And underneath that is your, um, your Wi-Fi mini PCI card there. But there's not a lot for the user to get it in here. Um, like I don't even see where the, looks like things, well, things can clip. Look at that, uh, the, the, the fan will clip off so you can you can clean it out. Oh yeah, you can't get it out without that wire. So if you needed to get underneath this unit, you could. looks like you can easily take off this wire and unclip this and then this whole, the fan assembly lifts right off in case you need to get at other things. It looks like there's a CMOS battery right under there, so it looks like it's pretty easy to get at. Um, in addition, there's, there's uh, a plate here you can undo. There we go, no, no more screws. Just pop this right off. There's your NVMe solid state, the full form, full fact. And here's your RAM. So it looks like um, there's one RAM slot occupied, but it has two. These are very easy to access, all these components. So, so the RAM and the solid state is very easy to get at. That's about it, it the, the um, power supply it comes with, the default one it comes with is 65 watts. There's an optional 135 watt one you can buy if you wanted to. And let's have a look at the Lenovo website. I keep calling it IBM because it used to be IBM, it's a force habit, but Lenovo, it's a Lenovo brand, uh, Think Center in this case, called the Tiny Computer. 
Uh, the one we bought was the i5, so slightly cheaper, but you can get an upgraded processor here. Uh, you can choose which version of Windows 10. You can upgrade to 32 gig uh, memory. The storage there, again, there was the, the two and a half form factor SATA slot. You can have a standard SATA drive or um, like you could have the, the platter drive here as listed here or a solid state drive. Or you can have up to one terabyte solid state, the, uh, the chip, the M2, the, the solid state. Uh, we had a look at that. Um, it has uh, the standard Intel graphics. So it's not really a gaming rig. It's for a business machine or like a, uh, a kiosk or something. It's got a lot of power, more power. You can do a lot more than just a kiosk, but um, not so much a gaming rig. The expansion spot that we, we bought the Wi-Fi option. Uh, the, uh, the dimensions, they're quite small. This thing is only is three pounds. It's pretty dense, uh, but it is quite small. And some of the USB ports have different, different speeds as shown here. Multiple display ports. And the punch-out area, the punch-out that we got was the serial. They're calling that a punch-out. And the uh, gigabit Ethernet port. And there's other add-ons you can get. Very compact, very nice. The analog audio. Here is the um, the four the the four pole, uh, the TRS. So you can plug in a, a headphones that have the the four pole and have one connector that includes a microphone as well. It's, it's compatible for both the old school analog headphones as well as the newer style that are more the, the more common in the smartphones. So there you have it. Just a basic uh, quick view of this little this little tiny computer. Very space efficient.